Hi, my name is VJ. I just want to share with you a little journey I'm taking. It's called the I Give Myself Permission Journey. Six months ago, I lost my mom suddenly. Uh, there was no warning. One day I talked to her, the next she was gone. It was a week after we had buried her sister, so it was really a lot for my family to digest. And um, it rocked my world. It turned me upside down. My mom was my best friend. We traveled together. Uh, we used to go to casinos together on New Year's. You know, our last trip together was to Las Vegas for Thanksgiving last year. So it really, you know, kind of hit me hard. But I turned 40 in April, which was about two months after she had passed. And I went on vacation because one, I wanted to go someplace because I turned 40. And I also just wanted to grieve. And I went to the island of Curacao, which is in the Dutch Caribbean. And I just fell in love with the island. I didn't cry once. I could feel my mom with me. I felt her complaining about the heat, but she loved the island too. And ironically, we had uh, actually visited this island before on a cruise. So at 40, I came to Curacao, fell in love with the place and decided that I wanted to move here. Now, I've been saying for years throughout my 30s that I wanted to work from anywhere in the world as long as I had Wi-Fi. So if not now, when? I also said if I hit 40 and I wasn't married, I had no children and I wasn't in a serious relationship, there was no reason for me to stay in the U.S. I might as well go abroad for a while. So at 40, being unmarried, childless and, and, and single, not in a relationship, I decided it's time for me to go live abroad. So since I fell in love with Curacao, I came here to Curacao and I moved mountains to make it happen. Um, I'm here right now getting situated, getting settled. Uh, couldn't find the most accurate information online, so I just decided to come in person. And it took me two months to get it together. And I moved some serious mountains in those two months to make this, this journey happen. And it's been great. I've been here five days now. Um, I'll add some pictures with this, show what it's like for me here. And before I left, I gave myself a couple of permissions. I gave myself permission to be happy to do this, to be on this journey and know that my mom will always be with me. I gave myself permission to love again, to love myself, to love somebody else and to be loved in return. I gave myself permission to be successful. Sometimes, you know, we're pushing to do this and do that and we're worrying about success looking a certain way, but it's just enough to have the success, however you define success. So I just gave myself permission to live like it's golden. Um, and so here I am living like it's golden in Curacao. So I'm going to update how this journey goes uh, throughout the time that I'm here. But just know that sometimes it's okay when your world gets turned upside down to start over to do self-care and go someplace else. Don't be so focused on what you can't do and figure out what you can do. I know some people would love to pick up and move, but they can't because they have children. They're separated. You know, it would be a custody battle such. That's a totally different situation. But if there's something that you want to do that you can possibly do, don't worry about the, oh, I can't because of. Figure out the how you can because you need to, because you want to. Give yourself permission to live full out, to live life like it's golden. Give yourself permission to be happy.